back to five. So we're now going for the Malaga. Yes. Everyone's happy with that. Malaga. Yes. Good people. Oh, yeah. So this is the the youngest of the Malagas. Now, we were very lucky earlier on. Finn missed it. We might give him a drop of it. We might give him a drop. Oh, yes, yes. We might give you a drop of a 29-year-old Malaga. Maybe. If we feel, you know, maybe. On the way back to the hotel, we'll take a wee, 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 this again for the, the, the Irish market. Oh, what a nose. So, oh, see the difference. What a nose. And this is, I mean, this, you cannot, you cannot eat this after drink, you know, or you can't drink this after dinner. You either drink this with your food. You know, this is good with, you know, big meats and heavy dishes. Chocolate, coffee. Yeah, of course. But see, I oh, see that the when you get it, you when you really get into it and have a couple of sips, that leathery, earthy undertone. It's nearly like it's, it, like, it's, it's gritty, like it's been but dug up. Way. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, it's like a bottle of whiskey which has been yeah. left in the ground, and for some reason, all the roots have gone through the whiskey, and has been like you know when it comes back out, it is this earthy, yeah, like root vegetable goodness. Like there's nothing more than like if this was prescribed. As as a as, as something that you had to drink in order to survive, you would not be disappointed. You'd be doing all right, wouldn't You'd you? You'd be doing You'd great. Be doing all right. That there is, it, it just seems to have everything that you need. It's like life itself is is imparted in here. There is genuine, like genuine flavors, vitamins, minerals. There is all those things that you. I think you, you get. Yep. You know, we. I mean, we talked. To, hey, I've I've talked about this, but the leather thing. I mean, there, there, there is leather. There's no doubt it invokes this yep. satchel those, like those, this, this used satchel like this. Those, r yes, yes, yeah, musky, yeah, yeah, yep. What books are you read? It's like uh, my old books are all uninviting, non-friendly. You have, you have lot. <laughs> I remember having. I remember going to. Uh, my father would have taken me around um, secondhand bookshops. That's all he bought. Yeah. Secondhand books. Oh yeah. The very he never. Weird, I, like, musty binding smell. Yeah. The smell of the binding. The binding is more. Yeah. Is more, yeah. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what that is? So that, like, you know, what you're saying that that kind of leathery. That that's the, the like what we call the rancio notes of the cask. Purely like those flavors, just for the pure amount of time that whiskey has been in contact with the wood. In the barrel, like twenty five years, and the finish in Malaga is insane as well. Fourteen year finish in Malaga. Fifty five point. Fifty three point five. Sorry. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty three point five percent. Yep. Muscatel is fifty six point four. This big is alcohol content. Big bold statement. But it is, you know, it's, it's big robust whiskey. Super robust. Super robust. And it is dinner. I eat it with the dinner or. This is not morning, this is not afternoon, this is sitting in the evening, fires on, kids are all asleep. Fires on, curtains you know I mean? You're waiting for Santa Claus even. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Think of that kind of moment in your life where you just want to experience magic. Imagine how happy Santa would be if you left him out of bottle in 1995 Malaga. Santa would make Santa it, Santa wouldn't Santa wouldn't too make many it presents. to frickin' Boston. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He would be over the Atlantic... Well, he'd be well. He'd be well gone. It's Rancio, not leather. Laurie Dwyer's make the point. Also, yep. Okay, super. Um, well done, Gar Spencer. Which is why I think you say it's with dinner drink. It's a with dinner drink. Yes, indeed. Um, I defy anyone not to get a taste of a hearty steak with a red corn jus with the Malaga. Oh, boom, boom. It's, you know, it's a lovely tasting. Wow, we're going really far the here. The 95 Malaga, along with the Redbreast 27, he's dropping on other brands, um, was the best release of the last two years, leaving out the dream casks, hands down. And that's interesting. That's very interesting. That's interesting. And this is cheaper. Just saying. 
I mean, not. I mean, I'm not gonna. Well, do you know? I mean, poor Redbreast, uh, twenty seven is like what five hundred quid for four seven five. This is only four hundred. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is this is cheaper, guy. Get your get your get your Malaga casks. Get your nineteen ninety five. You know, what I mean, get it, get it while it's hot. As you say, there's still some of this. There's still some of this out, and no, there's definitely yeah, there's still, still, there's still a few, few couple of bottles. Two thousand, like, give or take. Two four nine one. Yeah, yeah. So you know, well, there you go. Yeah. You know, the thing. <laughs> I'm just giving off what I think. Well, I, I know I. We, we've only opened. We've only opened six of them. Going into the ninety-five Malaga, it was this one that you were saying sent to Scotland. So. Oh, is this what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. one? I, I misunderstood we were... Yeah, because that's fine. to the next one. Well, it's not. Really it's, 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 it's number two. It's when, number when two. Yeah, it's 28, Roger. Yeah. Yeah. Slip me to, to, to bring oh, the gimmick here. Muscatel. Yeah. This Still is, Muscatel. This is good. I'm, oh, glad, I'm glad she picked this. It's fantastic. And I'll see, I thought Helen was on my side there. I would have sent a 28-year-old Malaga. I would have sent the older version. But this is good. Do you know... This is the time? Maybe not. This yeah, is, it's a year and a half ago. Oh, it did. Yeah, yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. Are you sorry? A year and a half ago. Yeah. No, it wouldn't have done yeah, that. I'm sorry, no, Cosmic it was only out at the end of last year. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something. There. Yeah. Do Do you know why though? I think Helen is kind of attached to the older age statements of the Cosmic collection is because it's literally her life's work. So some of the older expressions, like the Malaga, like the New American Oak. Her role as Master Blender, that would have been some of the very, very first casks she laid down. So to see, for her to see that progression throughout her career, to end up in a bottle, I mean, there, you can't put a price on no, that. you can't. No, you you can't. can't. So it's just her, her career. It's nearly, it's, you know, for men and women. I mean, men, men, look, men can't give birth, right? Women have that great opportunity in life. But for both sexes to produce something like this, and watch it grow over that period of time. There yep. must be a relationship there. Yeah. There must be because you know for that length of time to watch it progress and to get into a bottle and for it to be in someone's hand and then a glass and then someone's mouth. There must be a relationship. You yep. must somehow have a relationship with that spirit. Hundred percent. You know, and I think that you know that 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 to me is a no brainer. That you know, if she felt so strongly about giving over the Malaga cats, well done, Helen. Um, I would definitely have given this to the Scots because, as a Scots myself, I absolutely love it. I think it ranks definitely up against some of the big Scottish whiskies. This could easily go side by side. When we do blind tastings and we throw this into some big Scotch tastings, I reckon some people would be, frankly, noses would be put out joint as soon as you reveal that this is a bush You know, they'd be like, what? Really? What? What? How did that come about? Because this is good. This is forward thinking from Bush Mills. Um, you have a sales representative. I didn't know that Laurie Dwyer is now working for you. He says it's four fifty now in Celtic. Go buy. Go Thank buy. Thank you, Laurie. Laurie is. <laughs> Laurie, you'll get. You. You must have a like a little Bush Mills badge. You can send them. Absolutely. Send me your address. I'll send you some merch. See. Give me address. Sort that. Drop me a DM. Laurie's good. <laughs> you hear that, Laurie? He's here. He's going to hear that. Um. You were saying about the relationship. That's literally what Helen said. She was like, "It's like watching your kids go off into the universe or in, out to school or something for the first time." It was like her releasing all these whiskies. Was like just watching her kids yeah. spread their wings. No, but it's you know it takes a lot. I mean, I look at I look at inventors and you know people who create things. You know, there's creators out there. You know, I'm not a creator, I'm not an inventor. I envy artists. I invent. I envy people who can do things. People who can make things. You know, physically construct things. And there must be something there, just like anyone who builds something. You know, the, the baker who makes the perfect donut or the, the perfect chocolate here, you know, whoever it is who can do that. I'm none of that. I mean, I, I, I have lots of things that I think I might be good at and people will tell me I'm still awful at. But these people, the inventors, the, the, and the distance,